The abstract ecosystem is absolutely heating up, and I decided to interview the number one XP earner out of the whole entire chain, OG. I asked him about his tips, tricks, and alpha for us to not only get started, but be prepared for the airdrop in the future. And that's exactly what I'm gonna cover in this video, so let's get it. Now, if you don't know anything about abstract, it is an Ethereum layer two, launched by the Pudgy Penguins team, arguably one of the biggest and most critical projects in all of Web3. The mainnet was released earlier this year, and the focus is becoming the consumer chain of crypto, making it insanely easy for new people to come in that aren't crypto natives and actually get involved. And with that, they've had a huge focus on building out IP-based projects, supporting content creators that stream, and even having a host of different games that you can play and earn XP. To get started, you either need your email address or you need a wallet such as Rabi. You can go on their portal.abs.xyz and you can either sign in with that email or wallet. Be able to track your XP every single XP update, as well as complete different tasks that you can see with the badges. So for example, you can connect your Discord, and once you do that, you'll be able to claim a little bit of XP and get that unique badge. And over time, this XP is going to add up towards your airdrop, and there might even be different ecosystem benefits or requirements for needing certain badges to receive certain things. According to OG though, these badges are mostly for social clout and gamification, and it's more so a focus on getting as much XP as you can. Speaking of XP, what is the fastest way of getting XP and being able to level up your actual tier? First thing that you can do is you can go to their Discover tab, and this is where you see a bunch of different games that you can play. Now, some of these, like on-chain heroes, require you to have NFTs in order to play the game, and in other games, you'll actually get an XP boost by holding their NFTs, and this multiplier for your XP might be worth the price. All of these with the spotlight actually give you an additional boost as well. And if you're trying to grind out some of these games and want to have fun, I would stick to these spotlights on a weekly basis. You can also scroll down and watch different live streams. By watching the live streams and tipping the creators, you can earn some XP. But OG was saying that there isn't that much XP you can earn from this. And it's more so a benefit for creators right now where they can earn XP and supposedly get hooked up from Luka Nets in the future. Another nice thing about the Discover tab is you can discover all of these different projects that are building within the ecosystem. And this is a really great way to find different games or applications within the ecosystem. A lot of these different interactions to get XP at this point in the game are going to require money. And if you ever need to fund your account, you can hit this fund button at the top left corner and you can either use Coinbase, Moonbase, different centralized exchanges, or use their bridge in order to get Ethereum from let's say the Ethereum layer one, over into the abstract in the L2, and you're gonna need this Ethereum to pay for the different gas fees. Be aware that because it's an L2, the gas fees are significantly lower, but you are going to need some Ethereum in order to do these interactions. When I was talking to OG, he said that the best strategy in his opinion right now are buying some of the top abstract coins that are directly supported from Luka Nets and simply holding them. And in order to track these different coins, you can go to Dex Screener and hit abstract, and this is also a great way to see new coins that are launching within abstract now most of the new coins that are launching are being launched through moonshot and you can filter this by new tokens that are coming out with this new pairs button but in order to get xp you are mostly getting it from projects that already have a base and that already have legitimacy the interesting thing here is that simply buying them and selling them isn't getting you the xp you have to buy it and hold it and the longer that you're holding some of these different tokens the more xp XP that you're getting. So the whole game plan and strategy from OG is going in here, buying some of the top tokens such as Abster and simply holding them. And over time, he's going to get a lot more XP. And if more people get into the abstract ecosystem, then he's also making money from these different market caps going up as well. OG gave me a list of his favorite token plays. I'm going to be making a separate video going over some of these top plays. And a lot of them were teased to get centralized exchange listing soon from Luca and Nets himself. If you didn't want to wait for that, you can pick up a Jelly Cube NFT and that's how you'll be able to access our alpha community and see the whole one hour video that we had with OG asking him questions and learning about the abstract space. The last shill here is if you're someone looking to stay on top of the trenches and get into these new abstract memes and be on top of what's happening, we have been covering it extensively within our Jelly Cubes alpha community. Not only by having some of the major players like OG hop on a VC and teach us a bunch of things,
things. But our abstract chat is constantly hot with different people finding different plays and scanning all of the time. And if you look over at our success page, you'll notice that a lot of people have been hitting 5, 10, 15 Xs all the time within the abstract ecosystem simply because of how hot it is right now. We're also going to have a WAP subscription option pretty soon here. So stay tuned. I'm hoping that will be released in this week. We're now instead of needing to buy a full jelly cube, you'll be able to pay on a monthly basis. That wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If it helped you, give it a like and I'll catch you all on the next one.